Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping in for a Ham Shack chat. This time, it's about Ham Radio Deluxe and an overview of the HRD logbook. This is a program in the HRD suite of programs where all the programs work together to optimize your ham radio experiences. In this video, I'll be discussing several ways to enter your QSO data into the logbook and how to upload your QSOs to the logbook of the world from HRD logbook. Now for a caveat. I do not work for Ham Radio Deluxe, nor am I receiving any kind of consideration from them. I'm a fan, but I promise to always give you my honest opinions and my experience. Now, let's head over and take a look at HRD Logbook. By the way, never call it a logger. Don't ask me how I know. So this is my HRD Logbook, and I've figured out three different ways. Actually, there are more than three ways, but those are sub-methods or sub-processes. We're going to start with doing a direct entry. So you take your QSO up here and you click on this green plus sign to add a new logbook entry. This brings up this screen. Here, you can put in your call sign that you want to log. I'm going to use my wife's call sign. You'll see that everything is populated. This gets populated because it actually goes and looks up in qrz.com. You have to have the paid version of that. Next, after getting all this populated, I'm going to go here and say I sent her a 589 and uh, I received a 579. Now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to pick out the mode. I'm going to say it was an SSB. And now that I've got everything populated, you'll see I can come down here and click on add or press the F7 key. So I'm going to add this and I'm going to close this. You can see that she's been added to my logbook. And I'm going to left click to select. And then I'm going to delete it. I can cut it or I can just press my delete button from my screen and yes it'll, it'll give me a warning yes I want to delete that particular one and you can see she's gone you can also select multiple things so say I wanted to get all of these all of these PSKs I can do that I'm not going to do that now that completes the direct entry method the next way is by doing an entry from a QSO. So I'm going to open up DM780. I'm now on DM780 and I have piggybacked onto this particular conversation. And I am just waiting for a call sign to pop up. You'll note that I do have my logbook pinged here. I've also got my radio attached. This is coming from the HRD main page. This is coming from HRD logbook. So I'm going to select this one. So there we go. KR0ES. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to right click on his call. So this is my call sign entry. And you'll see when I click this, it shows up here. He's Jacob in Layton, Iowa. Now I can add him by clicking the add button. Or as you see, I'm going to just show you my short here and the way this comes out you'll note that I've added a command to add log here so this will just happen automatically that that's if I was going to do a queue so I am going to go ahead and add him and you'll see that cleared the entry and when I go back to my logbook you see here he is and again since I didn't have a conversation with him I'm simply going to select that and delete him answer the question and that qso goes away and that concludes how to answer a qso from within a conversation another way that you can do this is by uh, importing an adi file for example uh, when i do wsjtx 
The WSJTX records its own log file in an ADI format. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select logbook, file, import, ADI. I'm going to pick my ADI file. See, I'm now pulling those in. This is my log file for all of my WSJTX work. I'm going to save it to my database and keep an eye over here. You'll see that I've actually I've imported 21 new entries. I'm going to go OK and finish. Then watch over here and you'll see I get a lot of things happening there. So now I've just added these QSOs to my log. Uh, I'm going to add, do another one. So I'm going to go logbook, file, import, ADI. This time I recently did a contest. So I'm going to select documents, write log, contest, which is where my all of my uh, contest things are listed. I'm going to click on date modified and find the CQ Worldwide DX 2022 CW. I'm going to select that. I'm going to open it. And I was just playing this in the background. I uh, wasn't really putting a lot of effort in it. But you'll see I have 35 records. So I'm going to again save it to my database. There's my 35, and I'm going to finish that. And down here someplace, you'll see it actually inserts it uh, under my QSOs. So you see I got a lot of CWs, and then I get into my FT8s that I recently just did. And that concludes how to enter a QSO by importing an ADI file from another program. Now that we've got all of these uh, QSOs in our logbook, I'm going to upload that to logbook of the world. I want to start by selecting the top top entry there. I'm going to scroll down. I'm keeping an eye down here for logbook of the world sent. I'm going to come down right to here and you can see that's the last one that I didn't send. I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on that QSO and you see I have now selected that. I have a couple buttons set here and you can do that when you define what your logbook is going to show. But I'm going to go logbook of the world upload. I've got 61 QSOs and all I'm going to do is click upload. Now it is going to connect to logbook of the world and then I'm going to click finished. Down here you'll see it updating the uh, database and everything comes up. So far I've showed you how to enter a QSO in your logbook using the direct method, how to make the same kind of entry from within a QSO, and how to import ADI files into your logbook. Now you'll notice that I have shown that my log of the world sent is yes. So I've uploaded all of these to logbook of the world. Let's go to logbook of the world and see the process over there. So here's logbook of the world. I want to go, I want to come up here and right click on your account and then I want to click on your activity. And you'll see that here's my logbook of the world upload. And that happened on December 3rd at 1335. So now I'm going to click on this little thing here for result and it gives you a short report. And basically it tells me uh, that it, it found my found my certificate. My, that's my logbook of the world certificate. It QSL these contexts and it said additional QSL notices suppress. That just means I had more than the 10 or 12 that it's showing here. It says one uh, QSO duplicated an existing record. And that was the LZ2KV one on 40 meter FT8. 
and successfully process 61 QSO records. And again, one record was a duplicate. 28 of those were QSL'd. So I'm going to come over here to my QSOs, or your QSOs is what it says, and I want to see the most recent QSLs. And it's going to take a second, process that. But all of these are QSOs that I recently uploaded and where I got a return matching QSO. I could also put down most recent QSOs. And these are my most recent QSOs. So you can see there's a, a lot of them here, but that either somebody didn't uh, acknowledge that yet or not. So let's go back to our logbook. And this time I'm going to come up here to Logbook of the World Download. Now this doesn't work on a range, it works on dates. And I'm going to pick a date, well, let's just say October 2nd. And I'm going to download that. So here's what I got. I got 145 records. I'm going to save it to my database. And there's the progress bar. And when that gets up to the end, it's going to say finish. Uh, when I click finish, you will see the progress bar start working down here. And that's just updating this display. And now you can see Logbook of the World received. And I, all of these people match up to who I showed as verified. And that completes uh, what I was going to show you on HRD Logbook. I want to take a moment and thank you for watching this video up to this point. I would also like to encourage you to go beyond what I've presented here, which is really a very high level overview, say a 10,000 foot level of how HRD Logbook works. What I've shown you here barely scratches the surface of what this fantastic application can do. For example, you can use this software for contesting. And because it is database driven, you can search it and put together your own personal data to help you improve your ham radio operations. You can also define how your logbook looks. What columns do you want to show up where? And generally, or even specifically, personalize it to your own needs. I also encourage you to play with Ham Radio Deluxe, the whole suite. So far, I've really only discussed the PSK mode and how to do macros. But HRD is so much more and it has so much more to offer. Find a mode that you haven't used before, like Slow Scan TV, and make a few contacts. If you've enjoyed this video and learned something, please give me a like. You like me. You really like me. Now, we all know that word of mouth is the best kind of advertising, so please share. Shh, tell everyone. This with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, I have something to say. Positive or negative, you know where they go. Finally, please consider subscribing and smash that subscribe button to this channel. As a special treat, for the month of December, instead of tagging my videos with other videos I've done, I'll be tagging humorous Christmas songs, and I hope you will appreciate it. A warning though, the one I've tagged for this video is not safe for kids to watch. It has a lot of bad language. 73 until the next Hey Y'all, and thanks for dropping by for a ham shack chat about the HRD logbook. As always, I am at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.